Welcome to NHPCO's on-demand session recording instructional video. My name is Leah Rivera and I'm the Senior Manager Education and Meetings here at NHPCO. Thank you so much for pivoting with us and transforming your in-person session to a virtual one. The goal of this video is to familiarize yourself with our recording process and alleviate any questions you may have with recording your on-demand session. First, if you haven't already, please schedule your session recording via the link emailed to you. Make sure to coordinate with your co-presenters if necessary before scheduling a date and time. You can record with an NHPCO staff member or record the session on your own time with your own recording platform. We do recommend the Zoom platform and welcome you to continue watching this video as a reference point, even if you did decide to record on your own. If you decide to record with staff, you will automatically be sent a Zoom meeting link in your scheduled calendar appointment. Upon entry into your Zoom link, you'll have a few minutes prior to the recording to get familiar with the Zoom settings. An NHPCO staff member will review the steps to record, pause, and stop. We will test audio and visual setups. At that time, we may recommend changes to camera angles or sound fixes if needed. We will review and set up the setup process for slide sharing. If you have multiple present presenters, staff will review how to share control. Now we will familiarize you with the Zoom dashboard. You'll see circled here the four major functions you'll want to be most comfortable with. First is the mute button. You'll want to make sure you are off mute when presenter presenting. Remember to mute when you are not. Should you have multiple presenters, this will be important. If you click the arrow next to the mute button, here you'll find the settings to ensure the correct microphone and speakers are picked up. Using a dedicated headset with a microphone is recommended rather than using your computer microphone. Next is the video camera feature. Please share your camera with us so these on-demand sessions can be as engaging as possible. We highly discourage the use of virtual backgrounds as they use a lot of internet bandwidth and can be distracting. Here you can also select video settings for things like enhancing your appearance and confirming your name is displayed appropriately. Next and very importantly is the share screen feature. If presenting with a co-presenter, please make sure to click multiple participants can share simultaneously. After clicking share screen, you'll see a number of windows available. Please find your PowerPoint presentation and click share. You'll know you are sharing when you see this on your screen. Finally, and most importantly, you'll click record to the cloud. It's important to record to the cloud to ensure enough space is available to save the recording. Once recording, you'll see the pause stop buttons available. Try to avoid pausing as the recording will not be edited. However, if you need to pause to get a drink of water, a distraction arises, or you are changing presenters, feel free. The stop button should only be used for emergencies and of course at the very end, as this is when the recording will end and be automatically saved to the cloud. If you accidentally stop before the session is over, you will need to start from the beginning. Please reach out to me if you have any questions and remember to visit the faculty website for more helpful tips and requirements for your session recording. Thank you and good luck.